Today, we travel through time to understand the life and legacy of a man whose brilliance is as intriguing as the moral dilemmas he confronted. We dive deep into the life of J. Robert Oppenheimer, often known as the father of the atomic bomb. Born in New York City in 1904, Oppenheimer displayed a prodigious intellect from a young age. His passion for learning would ultimately lead him to the study of theoretical physics. As Richard Rhodes, Pulitzer-winning author of The Making of the Atomic Bomb, noted, Oppenheimer was as passionate about literature as he was about science, offering a unique blend of sensitivity and genius. As the storm of World War II raged, Oppenheimer was entrusted with leading a covert mission that would change the course of history, the Manhattan Project. This initiative's mission was to harness the atom's colossal power, something that historians like Kai Bird and Martin J. Sherwin, authors of American Prometheus, regarded as a turning point in human history. Under Oppenheimer's guidance, the Los Alamos Laboratory became a nexus for scientific innovation. His exceptional intellect, coupled with his ability to inspire a team of brilliant minds, marked a defining era in nuclear physics. The culmination of the Manhattan Project was a moment of terrifying revelation, the creation of the atomic bomb. The bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, as historian Robert Lifton points out in Death in Life, was a demonstration of power that not only ended World War II but also inaugurated an age of nuclear anxiety. Victory, however, was fraught with moral repercussions. Haunted by the cataclysmic force he had helped unleash, Oppenheimer quoted the Bhagavad Gita, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all thought that, one way or another. Even as World War II ended, the specter of the Cold War loomed large. This tense period saw an escalated arms race and the proposition of the hydrogen bomb, a weapon far more destructive than its atomic predecessor. Oppenheimer, carrying the weight of his past, opposed its development, setting him at odds with influential figures in the government and scientific community. Priscilla McMillan, in her book, The Ruin of J. Robert Oppenheimer, delves into this complex chapter of his life, marked by his struggle to reconcile his scientific aspirations with his moral responsibilities. Caught up in these professional conflicts, Oppenheimer's personal life came under intense scrutiny. Espionage allegations emerged, linked to his wife Kitty and former girlfriend Jean Tatlock. Accusations of communist leanings marred Oppenheimer's reputation, leading to his security hearing in 1954. As pointed out by historian Jeremy Bernstein in Oppenheimer, Portrait of an Enigma, the revocation of his security clearance marked a sudden fall from grace for a man who had been central to America's nuclear program. In the last stage of his life, Oppenheimer reflected on his past with a mix of philosophical acceptance and profound regret. Despite his contributions to academia, his life remains a poignant testament to the delicate balance between scientific innovation and the human conscience. Oppenheimer's journey serves as an indelible part of our history, a tale of ambition, responsibility, love, and betrayal. We hope this exploration of his life offers a glimpse into the man behind the legend. As we conclude today's episode, let's remember that our past is filled with complex narratives like Oppenheimer's. So, keep that curiosity alive, continue to explore, and join us again as we delve into more intriguing aspects of our shared history. Until then, thank you for watching.